all of a sudden we heard noise like you, you know, it was a terrible, terrible sounding thing. And we heard banging and hollering and screaming for about uh, what must seem like hours. And then it stopped and we thought it was safe enough to go downstairs. And when we came downstairs, all our whole business, all the windows were broken, all the, the, the tools were strewn over the floor and the benches were broken up. And in our apartment, every chair and every sofa and every bed was, was cut open with a knife. When there was a phone call the, in the middle of the night of November, uh, that would be the 11th, um, like at 3 o'clock in the morning, uh, my mother was called and told that my father and my brother had been taken to jail and that uh, the house and the business had been destroyed that night. Suddenly, my home was broken into. I was in bed. I was asleep, and about six Nazis came in, smashed everything, and I remember I had a picture that was glass covered. <laughs> yeah, I know which picture it was. It was a picture of Jerusalem on on the on the wall over my bed, and they smashed it in the glass just sprayed all over me and I, I guess as I saw them go for the picture I put the cover over myself and escaped that and they broke everything they could get a hold of in the house and then they left. And as I got to my house I see a mob scene in front of our house and Windows were broken, and they were stealing the silver, they're stealing the dishes, they're stealing uh, clothing, anything that was not nailed down, they were stealing from our house. And as I walk into the house, my <coughs> my mother said, what are you doing here? I said, I just couldn't stand it in Kitzingen because there is something terrible going on. She says, well, the same thing is going on here too. And then I, as I was saying that one of the uh, Nazis was just about ready to hit me. And I said, where's father? She, he said, she said to me, well, he was taken, and he is somewhere in the village. He's arrested. We were awakened in the middle of the night and um, by banging on the door. And uh, when my mother said, who is it? They just said the police, but they were the Gestapo. And they came in and they smashed all the beautiful paintings with the glass, all the glass first, all the glass. and and. Um, and everything in the house, and my mother kept saying, we've done nothing, we've done nothing. And they said, where's your husband, where's your husband? And they said to me, where's your father? And I said, I don't know. My father was arrested. He was beaten, but he was released a few days later. Uh, there were incidents, uh, I remember fights um, at a Jewish camp. I was one summer when some of the Hitler youth threw stones and rocks at us, and some of us were injured. My father was um, arrested and threatened with Dachau unless he, he would leave Germany within a few days, maybe a week, I don't remember. And uh, since he had been so long in France, he obtained a permit right away and left for France. My mother and my brother and I moved in with my, our grandparents because the German re uh, took our apartment over and we were not allowed to take but very little out.